In Southwest Texas lies one of the most pristine rivers in the state. Far from cities and most people, Devil's River State Natural Area offers something culturally unique not only in Texas but the world. Lower Peckle style rock art is found right here inside the park. Come join us as we hike into the other side of Devil's River and learn how you can get access to this remote part of the park. We travel to Del Rio, Texas and visit the Devil's River State Natural Area. This park is a hidden gem due to its remote location. We drive 22 miles on dirt road to reach the park's headquarters. We have traveled across Texas and visited some great parks that have prehistoric rock art. Parks like Seminole Canyon, Waco Tanks, and Big Bend National Park are some great places in Texas to view pictographs. But did you know about the ones here at Devil's River? We learned all about this on our last visit to Devil's River and had to check them out for ourselves. To see the pictographs, you need to contact Devil's River State Natural Area. They gave us Norris Padilla's contact information, and Nor is a Texas Park and Wildlife interpreter for this area. The only way to see these is through a scheduled guided tour. We load up and travel off-road to a disclosed location. Devil's River is rich with ranch history. The ranch was known for sheep herding. Finnegan divided up the land to his children, and they made part of the ranch a hunting lodge. You can still see one of the homes today when you pass by on the tour. You can also pass a 1940 Dodge Wagon. I couldn't imagine driving that vehicle off-road here at Devil's River. Once we arrived at our location, Nora tells us about how the native people used their surrounding for survival. They used the plants as needle and thread, shoes, food, and healing properties. Nora, knowledge and expertise were a highlight of the tour. I highly recommend reaching out and scheduling a tour with her. You won't be disappointed. As we hike down, Nora tells us to imagine what life was like thousands of years ago. You can see why they chose to occupy this area since it's so close to the river. The painted image on the wall you're about to see have been here for thousands of years. The pictographs are up for interpretation and we don't know with 100% accuracy what they mean, but it definitely makes your imagination run wild. If you're a fan of Lowell Pecos rock art, I would love to hear from y'all. If you know some other great sites for us to check out in Texas, let us know in the comments. Lower Pecos rock art comes in four main styles. The style you see here is red linear. Many of the Pecos River pictographs are widely regarded as expressions of shamanistic rituals. Shamans are found primarily with Native American societies. It's believed they use hallucinogenics plants for ritual purposes. Standing here admiring the rock art is an experience in itself, knowing that you're walking in ancient paths. From prehistoric man, Native Americans, Spaniards, and ranchers, this area has seen a change of people who occupy the lands. No one knows where the prehistoric man went as they just disappeared. Some say they left into Mexico. What do you think? Since we were making great time, we had the opportunity to visit another rock shelter. The shelter we visited next is where they actually lived. I was excited to have the opportunity to see this for myself. This area hasn't been visited in a long time. Their sister site is where they live. If you look closely at the floor, you can see the scattered earth oven. They also found artifacts such as projectile points throughout the site. They also had paintings on the wall, but has been lost to time and disturbance. If you would like to schedule a tour to see these amazing pictographs, contact the folks over at the Devil's River State Natural Area. I will leave all the information in the description. And I want to thank Nora for taking the time to give us this amazing tour. Have you heard about these rock art sites in Devil's River? What are some of your favorite places to view pictographs in Texas? We would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to Mr. S Travel Quest to learn all about Texas State Parks and beyond. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.